Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to cover the second chapter that is kinematic of linear motion. So kinematic of linear motion is a study of motion of an object without considering the effect that produced the motion. So there are two types of motion. The first one is linear motion and second one is projectile motion. So in this video, we're going to concentrate on the first part. So here are the learning objectives. The first one is to define instantaneous average and also uniform velocity and acceleration. And the last part is to discuss the physical meaning of different types of graph. Okay, let's start by defining the instantaneous velocity. So what does instantaneous velocity mean? It means the velocity at specific position or instant of time. So the example are velocity at point A or at time t. So this is the equation that we use to represent instantaneous velocity. It is the first derivative of displacement in terms of time. Okay, next we talk about average velocity. So average velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement. So this is the equation that we can use to express, express the average velocity. That is change in displacement divided by elapsed time. The last part is uniform velocity. So velocity is uniform when the magnitude is constant and the direction of the velocity remains unchanged. Uniform velocity also called as constant velocity. So at this constant velocity, our average velocity and also our instantaneous velocity will have the same value. They are constant. Okay, next move to acceleration. So instantaneous acceleration refer to acceleration at a particular time. So there are few equations that we can use to calculate instantaneous acceleration. The first one is the first derivative of velocity in terms of time and the second one is the second derivative of displacement in terms of time. Next is average acceleration. It is the rate of change of velocity. So we can express it as v2 minus v1 divided by t2 minus t1. That is time to make the change. The last one is uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration is a condition when the acceleration has the constant magnitude and the direction remain unchanged. So at uniform acceleration, average and instantaneous acceleration will have a constant value. So now we move to linear motion graph. So there are three types of linear motion graph. The first one is displacement time graph. Second one is velocity time graph. And the last one is acceleration time graph. Okay, let's first look at displacement time graph. So the gradient of displacement time graph refer to velocity. So the first graph, since the graph is a straight line, so it refer to a constant velocity. Next graph is an increasing graph. So this means our velocity is increasing and at each point we're going to have different value of velocity so how to get the value of velocity by the first derivative of displacement in terms of time okay so this main object is accelerating next graph is a decreasing graph so at point b to c we're going to have zero velocity as it a straight line okay so it is a decreasing gradient decreasing velocity and the object decelerate okay next move to the second graph that is velocity time graph so the gradient of the graph refer to acceleration of the object that is dv over dt the, the first derivative of velocity in terms of time so the first graph have a zero gradient this mean it has a zero acceleration but a constant velocity and the area under the graph refer to the displacement 
Okay, next we move to our second graph. Okay, so the second graph, we can see the gradient is constant. So at each point, you're going to have the same value of gradient. This means the same value of acceleration. But the velocity increasing uniformly. The last graph refer to velocity decrease uniformly and has a constant deceleration. So next we move to the last graph that is acceleration time graph. So the area refer to velocity. So the first graph we can see there's no area, so there's no velocity and the acceleration equal to zero. Okay, so for the second graph we have a constant value of acceleration so this means the object is under constant acceleration with positive value and the last one the value of acceleration is negative so this means it's under deceleration at a negative value so that's all thank you